what's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new Fortnite Battle Royale video here on my channel. So with the release of the Season 6 Battle Pass and the season overall yesterday on September 27th, I thought it was only relevant now to give you guys a breakdown or ranking system of all the cosmetics within the Season 6 Battle Pass that you guys can unlock for ranking up your tiers all the way to tier 100. Now in terms of the cosmetics we're going to be covering in this video, it's only going to be the ones that I'd essentially say are worth buying because let's face it, you don't look at a Battle Pass and say, hey, that has a really cool contrail or spray in it, I'm going to buy the battle pass to get them sprays or contrails. So what we're going to be covering basically is everything to do with the character outfits and the cosmetics that come with them, such as the back blings, the harvesting tools, and the stuff like that. So if you're going to enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like in it down below, and hopefully this video can help you guys out or basically advertise to you everything included within the Season 6 Battle Pass. But before we get into that, I just want to announce that I do a 2,800 free V-Book giveaway for one lucky subscriber to win at the end of the month. I run this giveaway every month on my YouTube channel, so don't feel this hard if you don't win this month but how you can enter for the month of September quickly before the announcement of the winner in October is leave a like in this video down below, subscribe to my YouTube channel with post notifications turned on so you never miss a future upload, follow my Twitter linked in the video description down below and comment down below on this very video letting me know you've completed all the above steps that I've just mentioned so I can check across your social media platforms to see the fulfilment of the requirements of certain guys you need to be following all of them whether you're including in your entry comment that you've just followed all the steps or naming them one by one it does not matter. Here are two previous winners who've won giveaways on my YouTube channel, whether it's 2,800 V-Bucks or an Ace Starter Pack. You guys can now see that my giveaways are real, so you're not wasting your time by entering all the steps to enter the giveaway for this month that I've just mentioned. So without any further ado, I've devised this ranking system of the Season 6 Battle Pass Cosmetics from worst to best in a category of 13 different columns where I've basically included a mix and match of different things. So for an outfit, it'll be included as a back bling and the skin in the first place. So with that being said, we'll get into the number 13 spot being the Crossfire glider as you guys can see it's definitely nothing special but at the end of the day it's a whole new glider for us to use in Fortnite Battle Royale that we haven't seen before it's obviously very plain so it's not going to stand out or a lot of people won't be rocking this or remembering it compared to other previous gliders that we've had in other battle passes or even this battle pass because there are some pretty cool ones within this however this isn't one of them it literally looks like something worse than we would already get gifted for free from something perhaps like a twitch prime pack where we literally get free cosmetics on an inconsistent basis if we we're members of Twitch Prime or have Amazon Prime linked to Twitch Prime and that's obviously to just basically reward us for our commitment to the brands in the first place being Twitch and Amazon because they're connected and owned by the same people. The other form of getting free cosmetics is the PlayStation Celebration Packs which actually have more vibrant and interesting pattern gliders than this one that we unlock in the Season 6 Battle Pass right here, the Crossfire Glider. Moving on to the number 12th spot, we have another glider called the Picnic Glider. This goes with the Red Riding set, however I'm not going to include it as part of the kind of skin set or cosmetic set because I'm only including the bat bling and the skin for that part like I mentioned. However the picnic glider for me isn't anything that I would want to be rocking. I think it's well overdone in terms of the theme they were going for appealing to the red riding hood theme in the red riding set. I believe if they just literally had a red glider that was slightly torn at the end like a wolf had bit it or something appealing to the fairy tale story of you know the context it's from then it would be way more effective and a lot more people would want to rock it but having these pies, flowers and everything I don't know personally to me it seems a bit too much but if you like that kind of style I can definitely see why you guys may like this glider however it's just not for me and that's why I put it in the number 12 spot of our list. Moving on to our number 11 spot we have the smash up harvesting tool which is actually the DJ Llama or DJ Yonder's harvesting tool in that set like I said I'm only including the back blings and the skin for the actual skin set though. So this actual harvesting tool isn't exactly looking bad it's just the fact that I would have never thought of this idea for a harvesting tool because it doesn't appeal to the fact of having something that could like you know destroy something which ultimately what a harvesting tool is a kind of pickaxe shape or form so that's why I don't really think this is too good and it's on the bottom end of our list right here I mean don't get me wrong it does look cool and very vibrant and stuff but we've also got other very vibrant kind of harvesting tools that don't make sense too such as the rainbow smash and you're gonna have to go hard or go home to compete with something like that a really really liked cosmetic in terms of one of the best harvesting tools or one of the most wanted harvesting tools in Fortnite Battle Royale so that's why the smash up harvesting tool comes in at the number 11th spot moving on to our number 10th spot 
creeping into the top 10 category is the Covered Crusader. Now, I can see why a lot of people may like this because it appeals to that Wild West kind of theme that we had with Paradise Palms moving into the map with the desert area and now they're continuing through a few of the cosmetics such as the Calamity skin that eventually is upgraded into a cowboy. A lot of people may like to rock this with that complete set but without it, it kind of just strays away on its own and there's a lot more better gliders out there that have been in the item shop, previous battle passes or even in this battle pass which is why it doesn't compete to me in terms of one of the better cosmetics within the battle pass, hence why it's in the number 10 spot out of all the cosmetics that I'm going to rank for you guys in this list, the Covered Crusader. Next in the number 9 spot we have the Nightshade skin and back bling now. First glance, this is a pretty cool kind of skin, a female tomato head, but it's very scummy, I think, to include in a battle pass, considering we've already had the tomato head in the item shop for around two seasons now, and very frequent, just to add, and also editable styles for the tomato head as Tomato Temple came into the map, and we obviously have this kind of god head that we can put on tomato head. It doesn't strike me as something that should be included within a battle pass, and Epic Games shouldn't have really gone about the route of adding this skin into the game through a battle pass, because we already have tomato head in the item shop obviously the back bling looks really cool it's a unique kind of styled cape but how many capes have we seen come to fortnite battle royale in terms of a back bling so that's why this is in the number nine spot the nightshade skin coming in at the number eight spot we have the giddy up skin now i can't take this skin seriously whatsoever because essentially what it is is basically a llama costume with legs on it seemingly representing the human riding it however it is not because obviously his legs just go through to the floor and he's got it around his waist it is the most impractical skin in Fortnite Battle Royale for sure. If you stood beside a skinny tree, you would stand out like a sore thumb. And obviously, people swarm towards llamas anyways because of the incredible loot that they drop, whether it's bounce pads or that essential kind of healing drop that you may need, whether it's a shield, whether it's a med kit. We can always get something useful from a llama, which is why people flock to them. With this skin being a thing, I mean... You're going to stand out and you're not only going to stand out but your hitbox is going to be quicker because I believe if they shoot the actual inflatable llama you take damage because it is a part of the skin. And speaking of the skin itself, of the human included within it, it is a no skin. Just to top it off, it's a no skin riding an inflatable llama. I mean, that's all. It's a very funny gimmicky cosmetic which isn't meant to be taken too seriously. Like this whole list if you guys disagree, don't go ahead in the comment section, just take it with a pinch of salt and that's why the giddy up skin being unique and something we've never really seen before is in the number 8th spot. Moving on to the number 7th spot, we have the Swarm Glider. Now this is literally my favourite, well would be should I say, my favourite glider in Fortnite Battle Royale. It looks so cool and so unique in terms of like just the style of it and overall the kind of what's going on with it. It's not blocky, it's very like, you know, mysterious and mythical, but it takes up all of your screen when you're deploying it. Now, I don't know if Epic Games are going to patch this. If they do, I would essentially rank it much higher in the top five even of this list. However, for now, it's going to stay in the number seven spot because not only is it a glider and not a skin in the first place, but it even seems impractical because you stand out like a sore thumb for using it. And when you're actually landing, you can't even see if enemies are going to be landing near you because your whole screen is literally blocked by this kind of giant bat that you're essentially gliding down on, which is why the Swarm Glider comes in at the number seventh spot of today's list. Moving on to the number 6th spot, we have DJ Yonder, which is the llama skin that everybody's been talking about and was first teased as the first teaser officially announced by Fortnite for Fortnite Battle Royale Season 6. Now, I mean, this is a really cool looking skin. It's the first skin you get in the Battle Pass as soon as you buy it. You don't even need to get to Tier 1. I think you just automatically get it. And then the Calamity skin after that, which is the first upgradable skin at Tier 1. However... It's a disappointment, in my opinion, for a llama skin that we're expecting. Obviously, a lot of people thought that there was going to be this bright, colourful kind of, you know, llama in the theme of the loot llamas coming to Fortnite Battle Royale, but a skin. However, we got a DJ, which we've already seen with, like, you know, the theme of the Fun Cops and stuff, a DJ kind of theme and stuff, and I don't believe it's gone about in the right way for making a llama skin. I mean, the head itself is a disappointment, but the rest of it looks really, really cool, which is why it can't outweigh all the kind of, you know, cosmetics on the outfit, because the head is only only one part, making it viable of the number 6 spot in today's list. Crunching the list down to its top 5, now we have in the 5th spot the Red Riding Skin. Now, this is something that a lot of people will be rocking essentially because, I mean in my opinion, I see a lot more people rocking female skins than male skins in Fortnite and a lot of them skins, the female skin seems to be more popular. This theme was 
a really good one to come to be honest because if they're going to have the theme of a werewolf for the tier 100 skin the contrast to that being red riding hood they've pulled it off tremendously and i think it's a very simple but clean skin which is why it's in the number five spot and the back bling's also good and the harvesting tool the harvesting tool is something unique that we've never seen before directly just you know an axe that basically would be found in the story of red riding hood because they use that to kill the wolf in the first place and obviously the harvesting tool is unique because we've only ever seen two types of tools we've seen the actual pick axe tool the shovel tool but now we've seen the axe tool so what are we going to see next we're going to see like a garden hoe or something i don't really know i know we've seen the scythe but that is kind of like it's not a tool it's a weapon so that's why it's in the number five spot the red riding outfit in fortnite battle royale Coming in at the number 4 spot, one of my favourite features in Fortnite Battle Royale Season 6 is the pets. I mean, I had to include them all as one category because I don't want to say one's cuter or better than the other. I definitely think this is a great innovation for Epic Games to implement into the game because it's something new, fresh, and overall it appeals to the audience, which is predominantly children who play Fortnite, and obviously a lot of people will want to have their own pet representing them on their back in Fortnite. As you can see, we have three types of pets. We have the dragon, we have the dog, and we also have the chameleon, where we can customise the colours of the dog and the dragon, however, the chameleon kind of has a mind of its own and changes throughout the game in its own manner. Coming in at the number 3 spot we have the Dust Skin, now this is actually my favourite skin within this battle pass however I don't believe it to be the best, simply because it's a Halloween themed skin, obviously we get the kind of gothic teenage rebellion look, I'm, I'm just kidding but yeah we have this you know kind of goth girl and she looks, I mean it's a really cool looking skin overall, it's really refined in every area, not too tacky, very clean and the back bling is absolutely insane. I know I've said before that if something's not unique it's not as good because we've already seen winged back blings, however this one one, it just looks absolutely insane and way too good to compare in that kind of fashion. Overall, I think it's going to be one of the skins that a lot of people use throughout the lifetime of Season 6's Battle Pass being the current Battle Pass out and into Season 7 because it's that cool and unique looking and a lot of people love the Halloween theme skins which essentially is what we've got here with the Dust skin. Cranking down to our runner-up position for this list, we have the Tier 100 skin, the Dire skin. Now, initially starting out, this is, doesn't look too interesting as a kind of, you know, Kung Fu warrior or whatever however then he evolves into this werewolf this is a first for epic games because obviously we've never seen a skin that transitions from a human to animal obviously we've seen skins like you know the ragnarok skin have an upgrade to being masked up and suited up and stuff like that and the drift skin as well however we know there's always a human underneath it however there's no human underneath a werewolf and ultimately it looks really really cool obviously it's an upgradable skin so we have six stages but that's not the only way we can upgrade it we can actually complete sets of the weekly challenges in order to unlock a back bling instead of harvesting tool which is not only a first for innovation by epic games but a really cool idea for a back bling and not a harvesting tool also upon completion of the weekly challenges being complete we can actually unlock a customizable color mode for whatever stage of upgrade we have for this skin a very cool touch for a very cool themed and looking skin in the number two spot the dire skin so now that leaves us with one more skin outfit that ranks above all others within the season six battle pass in my opinion that skin being the tier one calamity skin because of its looks when it's fully upgraded as you can see to start out with i mean she, she looks good in terms of like you know pr proportions for a girl and a lot of people say oh well she's looking fine that fortnite character and stuff like that well i mean a lot of people have been looking you know the the undersection of her and i'm not saying i'm into that but y you guys get where i'm coming from but when it's fully upgraded this skin oh my god it looks absolutely badass and overall in my opinion is better than the dire skin even though it has a full transformation and is definitely something that i'm going to be rocking throughout season six when i fully got it and even into the next season fortnite season seven like the upgradable options for the tier 100 skin we have a harvesting tool instead of a back bling that we can unlock called the reckoning harvesting tool whilst this is kind of plain and bland it doesn't outweigh the fact that this skin is definitely unique and the best looking skin in my opinion in the fortnite season six battle pass also we have the weekly challenge upgradable option to change the color band around the hat of this character for completing sets of the weekly challenges like I just mentioned. So with that now concluding our list for today, I want to hear your guys' opinions in the comment section down below. Do you agree with my opinion? Because this video is ultimately my opinion. I'm not saying, look, this is better than this. You can't use this over this. It's just my opinion. Let me know your opinion and your own personal lists and kind of ranking system in the comment section down below for the Season 6 Battle Pass Cosmetics. Also, if you enjoyed today's video or agree with anything I said about the placement of these cosmetics, make sure you leave a like in the video down below and subscribe to the channel if you never want to miss any future season 6 content hopefully i can see you guys sticking around on the channel in future videos by subscribing thank you all for watching one more time and peace